Hi guys and welcome back to our course. So once we have created the designs that we wanted, for example, yeah, like let's take that maps that we added a bit, uh, you actually have to make sure that everything is in place how you want it to be. Uh, and it's really important that the canvas size is, is right and that the object that you want to export is inside of the canvas area and that all of the layers uh, that uh, you want to be visible are and all the layers uh, that you actually wanted to lock are uh, locked, for example, wh whenever you are making some uh, final preparations. For example, you, we can select those layers because um, we actually want them final and let's say lock it. And same goes for that layer. So whenever we transfer any of those images, let's say, the layers are not really um, affected and we can use a rectangle selection tool and rotate it as we want and yeah here you see we've actually forgotten about one layer so we can come back by pressing ctrl z and getting back to the original state yeah select the layers over here and lock all of them locking those layers means that whenever you choose um, those layers and you rotate it, they're not affected. So yeah, once we've made sure that the layers are locked uh, and that the layers are visible that want to export, the export button is located over here and when clicking the export we can share the files to social media, we can print them or we can download them in the size that we want. Uh, we'll see how to do it in detail in the next video.